Hello folks, Appfielder here, back with another Minecraft tutorial and today I'm going to show you how to create a new clean instance of Minecraft. You might be wondering why this is useful, well two scenarios spring to mind. Number one is if you've been messing with your Minecraft config and the game's not launching for some reason, this is a nice quick way to test a new clean profile without completely reinstalling the game. Number two is if you use mods like I do, fabric mods, some mods don't work well with others, or work at all in fact. I sometimes like to log in with Optifine and Optifabric to my Minecraft world and take lovely screenshots, but those mods don't work well with my day-to-day -day mods like Lithium. So I like a nice quick way in the launcher to switch between those two profiles. I'll be doing a video on this tomorrow, hit that subscribe button to check it out. So today let's get into creating a new instance. On the screen right in the middle of the moon is the Minecraft launcher. You just need to double click on it to launch it. I've already got it open. It will launch to this screen right here. And down the left hand side is this little drop down menu here that has all our different Minecraft installations in. These are the two that I primarily use. This is my day to day one with all my quality of life mods. And this is the one I use when I want to take pretty screenshots. And like I say, the mods aren't compatible, so they need to be separate game directories, separate instances. How do we do that then? Simply, we click on the Installations tab up the top, and we want to create a new installation. Give it a name. doesn't really matter what you call it, just something you'll remember, something that makes sense to you. I'm going to call it Demo Minecraft. Select your version. I want it to use Fabric. So this is my Fabric Loader and that's the 117.1 version of Minecraft. This is the really, really important part. Most of those installations you saw use the default game directory. That means they're not truly separate instances. What you want to do is change this. So you click on Browse. Right. Next thing, we get this screen here. Now, if we scroll down just a little bit and we're into App Data Roaming, here, dot Minecraft is the default game installation. If you change nothing when you install Minecraft, this is your default game directory. We want to make a new one, but if we click make new folder at this point, it's going to do it in the wrong place. What you want to do is click on Roman and click make new folder. And then you get this new folder. It's highlighted in blue. If you accidentally click off it, just right click on it and rename. But as long as it's highlighted in blue, just start typing. And I'm going to use the same naming convention, so dot Minecraft demo, and just click in a blank bit of space there. Right, it's nearly done, but not quite. You can see, although it's selected, this down here makes no sense anymore. The easiest way to fix this is to click on another folder. Now, handily, I've got this folder here that has no arrow next to it, so that makes it nice and easy just to click on. If you've got a folder with no arrow on, it's easier. Watch what happens when I click on one of these other folders. It automatically drops down. It's really annoying. If that happens, just click this arrow here to close it. Then click back on your new folder, Minecraft demo, and then it's all selected in here. Click OK. Now in your game directory, it's using this folder that you've just created. One last thing to be aware of, because it's a new game instance as well, you might need to change your memory because by default it uses two gig and a lot of people change this. So at the start of the JVM arguments, XMX 2G, Change that to how much memory you want it to use. I like six. And then down the bottom right hand corner, just click on create. Right, you might be thinking I can't see it and that's because for some reason they put it at the bottom. Go back to play, hit your drop down. And again, if you've got lots of items in here, it's right at the bottom. And you just select that profile. Now, I'm just gonna open Windows Explorer and show you some things here that will just help you in future. We're in app data roaming that you saw before, and I'm going to show you how to quickly get here. So if you click into the address bar, percent, app data, percent, and hit enter, it takes you back to that exact same folder. This dot Minecraft is our original game folder. As long as you didn't change anything, it's also your original game folder. Minecraft demo is the new one we just created on the right hand side here. You see how it's empty? Because we haven't launched the game. Let's launch the game. Right, you'll get a warning because you're playing a modified version. If you didn't select a modified version, you're using a vanilla version, you won't get that warning. You can just tick the box and click play. Now, if I go back to these folders, new on the right hand side, old on the left, you can see it's now starting to populate my folders as the game launches. 
We're going to let this launch up and I'm going to show you how you can see it's a different instance and I'm telling you the absolute truth. I'm just going to turn the volume down. That was a bit loud. Right. Here we go. This is our brand new instance of Minecraft. I'm just going to go back. I'm going to just simply go back to my normal day to day profile. You'll get a warning if you're using the same account that you can only join a server once per user. So if I change that, that will get rid of that warning. If you're using the same game profile, you get another warning to warn you that you could cause a problem by, by having two game instances open with the same folder. I'm going to start anyway. I'm going to just open these up while it launches. Right, you see the options we have here, single player, multiplayer, Minecraft realms, options, quick game. Watch what happens when this one launches. This is my original one, remember, this is my new one. Here we go. Look, I have mods installed, I have that extra button. This is, a, well, this over here on the right hand side is a completely and utterly new instance. So for example, if I go into options and go into resource packs, that's my current setup. On the left hand side, I use dpixel. A lot of people always ask me that. I use a couple of the vanilla tweaks to just make things better. On the right hand side, it's completely fresh. So in your fresh instance, things like keybinds will be back to default. Your resource packs will be gone. I can't even think what else will go on. You'll, you'll have no save games, for example. Let me click done on both of these. Look, I have lots of single player worlds, but on my new instance, oops, I have none. There's none there. I have to create a new world. Brand new instance, so a great way to test things. And if you're using mods that are incompatible, you like to switch between two different instances, super useful as well. I'll be doing a video tomorrow or maybe the day after on running shaders with fabric. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit that like button. Folks, that's all I've got time for. I'm Abfielder. Goodbye.